My name is Spencer, I'm co-founder of Live Bearded, and today we're talking beard trimming from home. All right, there's no doubt that the hardest part about having a beard is knowing how to trim it. Whether you go see a professional or you attempt to do it yourself, Every single day, hundreds if not thousands of you guys complain about a bad trim job. So I'm here to make it as easy on you as possible. See, I've made all the mistakes out there and I've learned over the years a few things that can help make it a lot easier. So the best analogy I can give you truly to trimming your beard is to treat it like a hedge. Now, you're really gonna wanna basically just, as you trim a hedge, focus on the outsides, take away any of these kind of flyaways. You know, your hairs grow in different directions, different speeds. So as you can see, my beard hair here kind of starts to grow wild. So really the idea is to simply take your clippers and work your way down. Now, you can use clippers, you can use scissors, whichever you're most comfortable with. I'm gonna use clippers today. Um, the biggest thing to keep in mind though is just simply take your time. Slowly bring that in. You can always take more off. And secondly, you wanna make sure that you style and shape your beard, comb it out as you would any normal day. So whatever beard products you use on a daily basis, make sure you go through that same process comb your beard, let it fully dry before you attempt to trim it at all. So that said, let's get trimming. And it's really not much. Just enough to kind of bring that a little bit tighter, whereas you can see how this is kind of growing out here. Repeat the same process on the other side. Now I use left hand on left side and right hand on right, but if you're more comfortable with the right, you can obviously kind of come across here, kind of same thing, but really all you're looking to do is just draw that line straight down, keep a little tighter. And that's really it. Now I'm not really taking any length off again, just taking more of the puffiness, the, the weight out of the sides of, of the beard here, a little more elongated. And then it's time to do the sides. All right, so next up is trimming in your back line. Now the back line, in my personal opinion, is the hardest because you can't really see it. Uh, your beard gets in the way, you're kind of trying to look, you don't know exactly where it's coming in because you're, again, your beard's just blocking it. The idea is for the line to go from the back of your sideburn and really just run straight down. These hairs will grow long, will actually grow back to your neck. Sometimes your neck hairs connect to your beard. And really I, the idea is to just trim everything back behind where that line is. So looking in the mirrors is, is tough. That's um, so why I advise getting one of these little mirrors. They're cheap, couple bucks from Walgreens. Your girlfriend or wife probably has one. Um, this will allow you to kind of position yourself, use the second mirror to look into the primary mirror and see this line straight on. Then you can take your clippers and essentially just draw a straight line kind of from the back of your sideburn down. I found this to be the easiest way to do it. And again, I, I can't repeat this enough, but take small, tiny little amounts off because you can always slowly creep it further. And it doesn't take much to just start forming that line. Just like that, pretty straight. And then obviously the same thing on the other side. And then once you get your back lines kind of lined up, trimmed in there, it's time for the underbeard, the, uh, the neckline. Now, if you're first growing your beard out, you want to shave this line in where your head connects your neck, not on your jawline. And then as it grows in length, it's obviously gonna kind of cover it. My Adam's apple's here, my jawline's here. The, the, obviously the neck hairs are what gives you the full, uh, full thick beard. So wanna let those grow in length, um, but your beard hairs grow in different, at different rates, different speeds. So really the idea here is to just go uh, underneath the beard to, to shave these in, trim these in so that they're all kind of uniform shapes. You don't have long scraggly hairs kind of sticking out. So again, same, same idea, treat it like a hedge. You're just going from underneath. There's, there's two methods that I use. Um, 
really just look straight into the camera. You can kind of look up a little bit and then draw this line there. Also got my trusty little mirror here. Uh, this helps as well to kind of look from the side just to see kind of what that shape is looking for, or is looking like. If you're looking to box your beard, draw this line straight down, hard 90 degree and a straight line across. So you're gonna bring this up straight across. It's gonna really give you that box. If you're looking for more of a rounded, you can curve this line here, obviously match the other side, and then you can round this a little bit more. So depending on which style you want, um, you'll either want to do a straight line for a box or a little more rounded um, if you're looking for, you know, obviously a more round shape there. And then really just clean up the hairs underneath. Now I obviously don't have a whole lot to take off because I typically keep my beard pretty clean, pretty trimmed up, but any scragglers. And then obviously all these kind of neck hairs. I'm not really taking any length off, just taking these individual hairs here, just to kind of, again, bring the beard a little more uniform. And by doing this, you're gonna actually, you're gonna give a solid line where your beard growth is, right? The body, the bulk of your beard is gonna end in one place. That's actually gonna make your beard look much fuller than having all these long, scraggly, kind of thin hairs. So by bringing them up into one kind of uniform shape, your beard is gonna look significantly thicker. really that simple. Work from the outsides. I always start on the sides here. Back line, make sure you even those out and then the under beard. Um, it definitely isn't easy the first time, so take your time, right? You're gonna make mistakes. We've all made them. Don't beat yourself up. Don't shave because you made a little mistake. It'll grow back. Um, if you have any questions on your beard specifically, send us a picture. We're happy to help direct you personally. Shoot us an email to support at livebearded.com. Hopefully you found this helpful. If there's anything else you need, don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, live bearded, brother.